welcome to The Head Trash Show. My name is Alexia Leachman and I'm the founder of Head Trash, home to the new and unique Head Trash Clearance Method that removes unwanted negative thoughts, feelings and emotions quickly and effectively so that you can achieve clarity, confidence and contentment in your life. My goal with this podcast is to teach you how to create some headspace by helping you to unpick what's blocking you and sharing some tips and how-tos for clearing it. Tune in every week as I share simple strategies to help you to achieve confidence and clarity in your life and business. To find out how to clear your head trash quickly and effectively using our unique method, pop over to headtrash.com to get our free download and subscribe for our free head trash clearance updates. And now for the show. Hello and welcome back to the Head Trash Show. This is me, your host, Alexia Leachman, and thank you so much for joining me today. Now, the eagle-eyed among you will notice that I didn't put a podcast out last week. I'm terribly sorry about that, and I've got a very, very good reason, but I will not be sharing it with you this week, but I will let you know in coming weeks as to why I missed a show. And believe me, I have a very, very good reason. And it's entirely relevant to this show too. So there you have it. Now, I'm not going to spill it now, as I said, but today I've got a brilliant show for you. Now, on today's show, I've got with me the founder of Reflective Repatterning, our favourite technique of mind change and head trash clearance here at Head Trash, um, to tell us about a load of events he's got coming up this year, because I'm certainly getting a load of inquiries from people wanting to find out how they can start using this technique better, how they can attend more events. I had an event last month that was fully booked. I've got some more events coming up later this year that I'm going to be announcing very soon. And um, Chris has got an event. He's got several events coming up too. So I thought, you know what? The demand is there. People want to know where these events are happening and what they can learn on these events. So why not get Chris on the show to tell us. So that's what I've got today. So he's got a few events coming up this year with Solar Events. So that's not through me, but with Solar Events, a brilliant company that put on some fantastic transformational events. If you want to learn really great transformational techniques and Solar Events, a really, really great organisation to check out. And so Chris is going to be doing a couple of events with them. And one of those events he's going to be doing is a two-day weekend. So basically an introductory weekend to reflective repatterning. So what I thought would be really useful is to get him on the show and to get him to share exactly what you can expect from doing such a weekend. Who is it for? What are you going to learn? Why you should come? What you're going to get out of it? And how it can possibly change your life and why you should invest just the weekend of your time in doing something that's really you are going to love yourself forever for. Your soul, your spirit, your sanity will thank you forever for doing such an event. You know, doing work on ourselves, we often don't invest the time and the effort and the money on ourselves. We prefer often to throw money at handbags, shoes, you know, gadgets, big widescreen tellies. And that stuff in a couple of years is out of date. You end up throwing it away. But you know what? You take that same amount of money, you invest it in yourself and you live with the benefits forever. So, um, you know, it really is worth investing in yourself and attending events that enable you to be a much happier more fulfilled version of yourself. And that is the kind of event that it, that Chris is going to be putting on in a few weeks. So without further ado, I'll get off my soapbox about why we should work on ourselves, uh, because I could talk about it forever, and hand over to the time that I spoke to Chris about his up and coming UK events here in 2014. Hello, Chris, and welcome back to the Head Trash Show. Hello, Alexia. Really pleased to be here again. Thank well, thank you. you so much for coming back on. Now, the reason we've got you back on is because you're going to be running one of your first UK trainings of 2014 this year. And I wanted to grill you all about it. So thank you for coming on board. And um, yeah, let's just dive straight in. So first of all, tell me, where where are you going to be running one of your reflective repatterning trainings? With the uh, solarevents.co.uk, uh, um, they're going to be based in London. The training date uh, for the first introductory of the RR of this year will be April the 5th and 6th. And then there is likely to be, well, there will be another one on the 10th and 11th of May. And those that have attended the two day introductory can then go on to uh, the four day practitioner course which is the 7th to 10th of June 
Okay. So um, <laughs> just tell me a little bit more about the kind of event that it's going to be. So it's, you mentioned it's a two-day event. So who would this event be for? The reflective repatterning, or known as RR course, will be for uh, professionals. It will be for newbies to coaching and uh, therapy treatments. It will be also guided towards those that have had no previous experience. So they can come along, they can uh, have a lot of fun, they can join in with explanation, demonstration, and practice using the what we call the foundation or basic reflective repatterning frameworks that clear uh, big deep emotional issues, that clear um, conflicts that we may have with other people and things and, 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 and really clearing and healing values of ours that uh, may conflict. When I say values, you know, some people might value freedom um, as one of their most sought after uh, uh, things that they want in their life. And and most of those people will feel inevitably trapped somewhere if they're looking for freedom. So we will hear the, heal the resonances of feeling trapped and the excess emotional energy around freedom. Uh, the other conflicting issues could be honesty versus dishonesty. It could be action versus inaction for those that procrastinate. So we, we'll be looking at, at, at areas like this and um, it will be taught in such a way that everybody joins in in the teaching. It's made simple. And we practice and practice and use this uh, on ourselves and each other. And, and um, yeah, expect a few tears. Expect a lot of laughter, though, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, as somebody who's been on your trainings, I can certainly vouch for both the tears and the laughter bit. And it really is, you know, I think what you're saying is it's going to be really great for those that are already in coaching and, and human change and that kind of stuff. But also it's brilliant for people that just want to have that experiential, clear their own stuff to clear their own head trash, that kind of weekend. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, when we take in complete new beginners, they they uh, come in without a, a knowledge that may differ or, or um, change a way of thinking. Um, so they often take it on board very, very quickly, even quicker than some of the therapists do. Mm. But at the same time, where the therapists may uh, well be, or the professionals may well be on the course, and if somebody is is coming there to clear a lot of their own issues they may feel more guided to come with someone that you know has that extra bit of knowledge and uh, uh understanding and rapport mm. so it's it, it's a really really good mix to have general public that that have no previous experience with those that have have plenty of previous experience it all balances out I I, I enjoy the mix and, and and I know the classes certainly do <laughs> mm, mm, absolutely so just give us a just give us a recap as to what you know reflective repatterning what what's it about how does it work just for those that haven't maybe heard you describe it before yeah well we use a energetic tool um, that treats the acupuncture lines in the body or electrical pathways in the body um, and there are 14 uh, major ones of those so we use a treatment that will treat the emotional energy uh, within our emotions good and bad and that also charges our thought patterns and a way of thinkings and racing minds uh, some people may well have heard of uh, emotional freedom technique or EFT or TFT, these tap on one point at a time. We're going to be looking at not tapping, but holding position that treats all 14 electrical pathways at once and works with various different energy centers in the brain. And we apply this tool by running through a framework of opposites and opposite thinking about an issue. So maybe someone has depression. And uh, we will be running uh, lines like, I love depression. I love it. I adore it. I really enjoy it. I love depression and being depressed. Now, of course, most people go, well, I don't. I don't. Oh, and, and they'll stress up and they'll get really upset and what have you. And, of course, all this stress that is surfacing and upsetting 
is getting healed by working with all 14 of these electrical meridian pathways at once, clearing the emotion. And then we might be saying statements that they more agree with, like, I hate depression and being depressed. I hate it, I despise it, I loathe it, I detest it. I hate depression. And what we'll do is we'll be clearing the hatred or the dislike of the depression. And we run through a whole series of different ways of thinking with also different logical suggestions why depression can actually be a good thing as well as why it's a bad thing. And then we'll run into that person's own unique opposite of depression. For some people, it might be joy or happiness. <coughs> And we'll run the same process again. I love to be joyful. I love it. I adore it. I really enjoy being joyful, joyful, joyful. Now, and then we'll run through. I hate it. I despise it. I love it. I detest it. I hate being joyful. And what we're doing is we are lessening the excess expectation of how joyful can be so good in our lives because there are times when we don't want to be joyful we don't want to be joyful all the time about everything otherwise we'll be happy about the bad stuff in our lives and we also we don't uh we want to heal the resistance to disliking joyful as well the more you want to be joyful magnetically it's like one end of a magnet like a north end it's going to attract the opposite the south end which in this case could well be depression so what we need to do is heal the resistance to being joyful and we need to heal the excess about uh, energy and expectation about being joyful. We need to heal the stress and the depressed emotional energies and all the experiences that led to the depression. And we need to heal the resistance to loving it because, you know, naturally, the world does give us highs and lows. You know, we can't have control over everything in our lives, and sometimes crap happens. Um, so, you know, we, we've got to learn to not hate it so much because the more we hate depression, the deeper the depression will be. Mm, mm. So for those people that may have heard of other techniques like maybe thought field therapy or emotional freedom technique or neurolinguistic programming, how does reflective repatterning differ to those other techniques that I've just mentioned or, or any other they may have, or even just talking therapies? Well, a lot of NLP, neurolinguistic programming, uh, which I've studied extensively and have taught, changes state. And so we're not necessarily healing and treating the emotional energy that we are holding in ourselves. It's almost like that we are easily like a robot able to swap states. So rather than feeling unconfident about something, we can bring in a state of where we are confident in our lives and apply it to that particular situation. But th that emotional energy is stored in us and, and emotional energy stored in us becomes a physical stress to the body. So not very good for the health. And, um, you know, this, this may get undone in time as well as, as emotional stress builds up. It's got to end somewhere. Uh, the emotional freedom techniques and the thought field therapy work on tapping one point at a time. But all of these things, they really like working on the negatives to make a negative situation less bad, which is brilliant. However, um, to get a real deep healing, we need to look at the opposites. It's all very well using NLP, TFT, EFT, EMDR, hypnotherapy to uh, feel less bad about someone, uh, maybe a family member who's been dishonest. But when someone has been dishonest and this person doesn't like dishonesty, they're going to get upset again. So what we actually need to do is to go deeper. We need to look at the opposites. We need to look at the values and the beliefs that actually create the emotional conflicts inside the, the person. If somebody loves honesty, they will hate dishonesty. Perhaps they've had too much information, too much brainwashing, too much uh, being taught about honesty, to love honesty so much that even the slightest bit of dishonesty is going to upset them. So we need to lessen the emotional intensity about uh, loving the opposite and we need to uh, certainly uh, 
work with the 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 negative side to 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 do that so the other treatments are only really looking at feeling less bad uh, about a bad thing and that will work for a while but if the opposite isn't done it resurfaces again and it's often resurfaces in in a harder bad way mm. so it sounds to me something like nlp maybe sort of you're almost sort of um, putting on a, uh, you know, when you're saying you're changing state to help you cope with whatever's in that moment, it doesn't sound like that's a very authentic way of moving forward because that's not the real you. Whereas it sounds to me if you can go to the root cause of whatever's causing you to feel unconfident, to really sort of r- reveal your true inner confidence that by clearing it using maybe reflective repatterning, you're actually revealing your true inner essence, which will come across a lot more authentically. Is that a fair comment? I, I would say it's a very fair comment because it's through our experiences, good and bad, that our values get created. And a lot of them are taught by us at schools and parents because they've been taught by schools, parents, establishments and so forth. And, you know, it's not who we are when we're born. Um, our values get changed, our values get pushed on to us, our values get learned, and then we pass those on. What we are doing is we're actually creating a neutrality by working with the opposites. And it comes back, as you say, to our true essence, who we truly are, with less ego involved. Um, and, and it brings us back to a kind of a spiritual path where we are actually happier inside mm. ourselves. We're not chasing false things. We're not... We don't have a void inside of us that needs more and more and more and needs this job and that thing and this thing and that thing. We can actually just become happy with whatever we do. It's not to say that we can't have those things. Certainly RR can help us to to get new jobs. I, I've got plenty of testimonials on, on that line and careers and materialistic things. But um, what kind of really excites me is when we apply RR deeply and effectively and uh, with a bit of thinking mm. about what we really want in our lives, that's mm. that's when the true magic of our uh, yeah. is. So to clear, almost like because a lot of those material needs and and, and um, you know that the monetary driven goals that people have are often you know ultimately being fed by these emotional needs that are quite deep within them. And once they realise that they don't need to satisfy that need anymore. Their drive for having to work all the hours God sends to earn all this money, to spend all that money commuting and traveling and and actually be stuck in this rat race that doesn't actually make them that happy. They realize they could actually have a much simpler, happier existence. Absolutely. You know, a lot of people uh, measure their lives and other people's lives as well uh, in, in judging by uh, must work harder, must be achiever, must be successful. And that's all very well and good to have that type of motivation. But on, on the negative side, people push themselves through the limits. They, they crash quite often in the sort of late 30s, mid 40s, want a lifestyle change. And I measure success by happiness. Mm. And, um, you know, rather than just something that's financial or having to work hard or having to be this or to be that, you know, do do we work to live or do we live to work? Um, that That's always uh, something that, that can be questioned. Now, a lot of high achievers won't even like to, to listen to that at the beginning, but in, in time when, when they do burn themselves out, <laughs> then they come back and they kind of get it and, you know, they, they do some clearing. They say, well, you know what, actually what I really wanted and whatever I wanted since I've been at school is, X, you know, I wanted to travel, I wanted a backpack, I, I wanted to, you know, go through the Tibetan mountains or something like that, and yet mm. they, they, they've been stuck in a, a particular job or career or, you know, staff relationship or something like that. Um, so R does give us the, the freedom, uh, gives us choice and gives us flexibility. So if there's anybody that's in that rat race situation where they just feel completely stuck, they feel like they've got those maybe those addictive habits that make them buy all that stuff or seek all that stuff or, you know, that they're literally those all those things driven by emotional needs and coming on this event could be actually really helpful for those people. Absolutely. There, there's a lot more to learn beyond the two days, but the, the two days actually gives a very powerful um, framework that is perhaps the most commonly used one in RR. Mm. to to heal in the conflict but we will also introduce in the two days how as a practitioner there is so much more 
um, that that can be taught. We will, you know, talk about the belief busters, how we actually change set beliefs yeah. we have about ourselves, about others, about environment, uh, morality, cultural, um, spirituality, and, and all sorts of things, anything that, that is limiting. And the, the concept of RR is that neither the therapist or the client in their limited perceptions that they have will actually give the, uh, themselves or, or the client a new set belief. What the RR does, it neutralizes the emotional intensity of the belief and then that allows that person's unconscious mind and energy field to take in what is best for them. They might need evidence of new beliefs and new ways and new ways of thinking. And sometimes the the new ways of thinking comes in over days and weeks. Other times it's absolutely immediate and impactful. Mm. So what we didn't want was something that was manipulative in any way. And there are some treatments out there that can easily change a belief system, mm. but they become ma ma manipulative. Yeah. The practitioner might think, well, actually you know wouldn't it be better that you thought like this and uh, that's that really shouldn't be the case that that can be really misused and the therapist will often be mistaken they will not know enough about somebody's life to to give a set change belief we allow the unconscious mind which controls billions of things at once to make its own decisions mm. um, to get out of a stuck state and find one that is best for that person in the current time yeah yeah so it, it literally, I mean, the way that I like to think about it is it literally just clears away your own interference that's stopping you from being your true you and expressing your true essence rather than, you know, rather than creating a version of yourself that's confident, that's outgoing, that's whatever those things you want to be. You're just getting rid of all the stuff that's preventing you from being you. And that's what RR can help you to be. 100% spot on. So <laughs> clearly put, Alexia, well done. Congratulations. That's brilliant. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, so the first one then is in April the 4th and 5th. So if people want to find out more about it, then they go to, you mentioned the website at the beginning, didn't you? Solar Events. Is it solar-events or solarevents.co.uk? Uh, I think you'll find it on solarevents.co.uk. <laughs> Uh, but uh, certainly you can do an internet search on yeah. that. I didn't write the website down before. I'll, I'll put the link in, in the blog post where this episode is uh, is going to be found on my website, on the Head Trash website anyway. And if anybody yeah. wants to dabble in the basic framework before going on the course, then of course that's as part of our five-step process you can download at the Head Trash site. So you can have a little glimmer of the stuff that Chris is talking about. But certainly on the event, you get to try it out and hear, hear it explained really clearly. And I think the, the important thing is it's experiencing reflective repanning because it is so powerful and effective that some people don't really appreciate how much that can be until they've tried it and once they once you have tried it certainly i got bitten by the bug and it's well worth giving a shot because i think it's transformational it really is so um i'd like to just thank you chris for creating discovering whatever you want to call it such a wonderful technique and, and gifting it to the world because there are a ton of us out here who are super super appreciative so i just want to give you a big thank you from me well thank you very much alexia <laughs> and i really thank you for all that you're doing through head trash and and your own events and publicizing it and the way that you're taking reflectively patterning and your other head trash clearing techniques out to the world and, and making great changes it's um, a joy to watch your expertise in the field is absolutely brilliant oh thank you so if there's any um so you've got some more events and trainings coming up so where can people find out more about those have you got anywhere online that they can find out more about that what's the best way for people to keep track of what you're up to and all your adventures well they can find me on facebook where i often announce and i will have some new pdfs and, and links to some of my websites soon i i do run events i'll be over in ireland in uh, the end of march teaching I have a new Get Well course coming up in June. I have a uh, teaching of uh, the most advanced thoughtful therapy called voice technology, which is a way of diagnosing over the phone uh, treatment points that need to be treated and also what things that the individual person is sensitive to that fits their energy field and how to treat those and also sometimes avoid those things. Mm. So uh, that, that will be coming up and soon. Um, and I, I tend to announce those mainly through my Facebook and my Twitter accounts. You'll find Reflectively Patterning and 
uh, on Facebook and Twitter as well. There is reflectivepatterning.com and there is chrismilbank.com. Okay, well, thank you very much for that. So, yeah, the Get Well course sounds amazing. That's really bringing together lots of new thinking in healing and lots of, uh, you know, bioresonance and machines and blood electrification. There's lots of really interesting techniques that you'll be sharing on that course. And that's one that I'd love to attend. So, yeah, if anybody's interested in really that whole mind-body connection, that Get Well course looks really, really worth attending. So I would encourage anybody to check that one out. Yes, there's certainly going to be some elements of RR in there and applied particularly to health and beliefs about our health and emotional shocks and states that may have triggered stresses in the body that allowed the disease to come in. But then we will also be applying other techniques to re-energize the body and to even look at clearing viruses and bacteria and pathogens in the body as well. Mm. So some really exciting new new stuff there and a, a few secrets that haven't really been told. Oh, <laughs> that sounds very exciting. Well, thank you very much, Chris, for once again for joining me here on the Head Trash Show. And I wish you all the best with the event. Well, I'm going to be there at the event helping you out. So um, Good, good. <laughs> so, yeah, if anybody wants, you know, you'll see us both at the event. And, uh, yeah, please do come along. So it's going to be an absolute, well, it's just going to be brilliant. Thank you very much for having me back on, Alexia. I, I really enjoyed the show. Now, since doing this interview with Chris, um, not that long ago, about six weeks ago, the events that he's putting on with Solar Rent, the first one has actually sold out. So the first event that he mentioned during the interview, the weekend of April the 4th and 5th, that is now sold out. However, there is another weekend in May that they're now taking bookings for. They've put on another weekend because it's just doing so well. So worry not. If you find out that when you make a call to Solar Rent that they're sold out, there is another weekend coming up. So you can see that people are really clamoring to learn this stuff. So I would really urge you to get on the phone and book your place. And also let us know here at Head Trash if you want to learn reflective repatterning because we do courses too, but we haven't got anything in the diary that's confirmed right now. So your best bet is to go with Solar Events. So without further ado, get over to the Solar Events website, which is solar-events.co.uk and you can find out more information there about what kind of events they've got going on. They've also got some videos there of Chris talking about the technique and also I think they're running a couple of webinars as well to help you learn more about uh, find out more about what Chris is doing with them so well worth checking out but in the meantime I'm going to leave you to it and I'll see you again next week bye for now you've just been listening to Alexia Leachman here on the Head Trash Show if you enjoyed the show I'd really appreciate you leaving a review here on iTunes and don't forget to pop over to headtrash.com to get your copy of our free five steps to clearing head trash guide now stay tuned for upcoming episodes and more tips and how-tos for clearing your head trash and reclaiming your headspace. Until next time, bye for now.